Hello there, bookish friends. Uh, this may potentially be the start of a vlog for me. It is 4.22 in the morning. Chelsea gets into town around 5.15, and it doesn't take me that long to get to the airport, so I'm up and awake. The game plan for the day is breakfast, possibly going through like all the makeup and books and stuff that I do not need anymore. And then we're gonna hit up a really, really old used bookstore that's like in a barn area. I've never been to it before. I just found out that it was in my area. So we might go to try to check that out. I believe we're gonna hit up Primark and I believe tonight a live stream. This will hopefully be the start of my book con vlog. Welcome to it. Let's get into it. It is a good thing that I'm up so early all the time and over prepared because Chelsea just texted me that she already landed like 40 minutes early. So off to the airport. Look how gorgeous these are. What is it? I loved these when Ooh. I was a kid, making Ashley books. That is too funny. my lovely camera lady. Me, it, her. And, uh, and then we're gonna get into the city and probably text Natasha and Jeff as we near and meet up, drop our shit at the hotel, explore New York for the day, go to Goodreads tonight, and then meet up with all of you lovely people at the bar. I can't wait. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. to get better about it but honestly I make no promises um, it is overwhelming a lot of people a lot of stuff I have no idea where anything is um, but it's fun I'm excited I think you're acing it. I'm acing it I'm doing well first first time the blister. I think you're doing good. giant blister guys although there's a war wound that is no joke um, Jeff's been a godsend he went down and got me a first aid kit we performed a small surgery and uh, now I'm surviving. Fortunately, we didn't have to amputate. We didn't have to amputate. It was a close call, not gonna lie. Um, but we're doing good. 
So yay, I'm gonna go back to trying to take it all in. And then hopefully I will show you guys more stuff because I'm gonna put this around my neck and try to get better about it. Don't hold me to it. Don't you find the bag Chelsea hurts though, like your skin? Uh, a little. I'm Kate Duncan. I'm a young adult author with HQ Digital. Yeah. Where can they find you? On Kate, uh, CaitlinDuncan.com or on Instagram, CaitlinDuncan, at CaitlinDuncanAuthor. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Thanks for coming and saying hi. Look who I found. Hi. I found Chris Lynn. Yes. Tell them how I find you. Nowhere, really, because I'm not on social media. But okay. Well, I've got That's an okay. Instagram. I'm Chris Lynn Podesta on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, All I'm right. working on it. Yay! <laughs> but, she yeah. stopped me. See, I told you, I want you to stop me. <laughs> I'm so excited to Yay! be here and to meet Julie. Oh my God. I'm so my happy. favorite booktuber Yay! in the world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm having so much fun and I wish my feet did not hurt as much as they do. It is currently probably around two-ish. I don't think that con ends until five, but I was feeling really overwhelmed. Felt like I had seen what I wanted to see. Um, I'm just budgeting as well, so I'm not really buying stuff while I'm there. So I figured I'm gonna come back, give my feet a rest, because I know we wanna go out tonight as well, and I just don't think they can handle it. I'm, my body is not bothered by the walking, uh, these blisters are going to be the death of me and I don't want them to get infected like I don't want to run into issues So I'm just trying to be good to myself even though it really stinks because we met some like amazing people and fantastic subscribers and People were stopping me and it was the most surreal wonderful beautiful thing ever So thank you if you saw me on Saturday and stopped me to say hi um I was walking with Julia from Julia Sapphire and Amber from Amber's Books and More and somebody was like, look, it's just a bunch of like, like, look at that group of booktubers. And I was like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Very, very surreal, but so awesome. And I love meeting you guys in real life and hugging you. And Chris Lynn was so sweet. She was like, this is my Christmas. Like this was literally the Christmas present from my husband, the tickets to this. And he asked what I was most excited for. And I said, meeting Julie. I was like, oh my God. So she was so excited that I got to, to see me and I'm so, so thankful I got to see her because honestly, the way that those booths weave in and out, it is so hit or miss. There was very, very high possibilities that a ton of people were there and I didn't get to see them and that stinks so hard. I was really excited that I got to meet Olivia from Livy, Livy Loves Books and um, so, so glad that she stopped by while we were eating lunch. Unfortunately, I had like my foot up on a chair just trying to rest it a little bit. So I didn't get up, but oh my gosh, she's adorable. And I didn't get to vlog it because I had my camera away because I was eating, but like the sweetest. And it was a really good day. Like I had no expectations. Oh, oh no. Where are you coming from? I had zero expectations. So everything that happened was a complete bonus. Uh, we didn't do any author signings. You guys know that we weren't going to do that. We actually didn't do any panels or anything like that either. Uh, we tried to go to the booktuber panel and it was full. The seats were all taken. We couldn't do that. And we just kind of weren't interested in any of the other ones. We really wanted to just like walk around, see who we could meet. And I'm sure that a ton of people were in those panels so we didn't get to see them. I know people will think that I'm not making the most of the event, but for me, I loved hanging out with people and seeing people and for me that was like the best part of it. I uh, ran into people from Ampersand who had been contacting me to be a booktube influencer. Ran into our Goodreads team, Jacqueline and Emily again. They are fantastic. And uh, yeah, just all the people meeting. Also because yesterday my trip here started off um, kind of really disturbing with like an insane exposure issue. Let me tell you about it. I'm an eye contact person, so I always look at people in the eye when I, they're walking towards me, whatever, this guy's walking towards me, and I, you know, made eye contact, smiled, he smiled back, and then I did, like, not a, like, body scan, but, like, I looked him up and down just to, like, be like, oh, hi. Um, totally normal shirt, scrub pants, and then I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, he had strategically cut out the entire crotch of his pants and was wearing no underwear. Just dick and balls, just all out in the middle of New York. And I know I shouldn't be surprised, but you don't expect to see flaccid dick and balls in like the middle of New York. And also, if that's not your kink to like expose yourself to people, like why are you, fl not that I wanted him to be hard, but like it's just weird. And I looked at Chelsea, but she was like navigating our trip on her phone. So she was looking down at her phone and I was like, how did nobody else just see that? And I started looking around at everybody on the street around me and nobody was like looking at me like, I saw it too. So I 
totally saw it alone. I don't understand how something like that even begins to happen. It was insane. Just insane. That was before we even got to the hotel to drop off our bags. It was like nine and ten in the morning. That's how my trip started. And then I got giant blisters, but I'm having so much fun. So the fun is totally outweighing it. I'm going to suck down a Powerade Gatorade. I don't even remember what I bought. I'm so thirsty. I'm going to go through some of this swag that I got because I got a little bit of stuff. No arcs, no books, no nothing. Um, there weren't really like arc drops. I wasn't finding anybody that was like doing arc drops. Uh, we were also just way too casually going about the day to find those kinds of things. People definitely had books, but I feel like it was a lot of people that were selling their books and their new releases for discount which is awesome and I know that some people if you plan it really strategically you totally could get arcs or you had to go ask for them or have a secret word for it um but I was not on social media while I was in there so I didn't get any of that kind of stuff which is fine it's okay I think as long as my feet hold out the game plan for tonight is the strand possibly a comic book store and then like dinner or drink somewhere that's it for now Here it is. For Sunday, aka day two of vlog, day three of the Chelsea drip. Hi, everybody, it's Pans and Pens. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, everybody, it's Julie. Welcome back. <laughs> So we are just packing up, getting ready to leave the hotel. We're gonna leave our bags downstairs. We're gonna head over to the last day of con. We're going to make the most of this day before Jeff and Natasha have to leave for their airport at around 6, 6.30, and then we'll probably leave at the same time. Do you got you don't leave from Penn Station? Um No, we leave from Hudson. Okay. So we're gonna have to part ways at some point, which I don't want to talk about yet because I will cry my makeup I know. off. Um, so we're gonna go to day two of con. I know there's a couple of people that didn't come yesterday. They're gonna be looking for us. It's a clusterfuck of people over there, so I hope you guys can find us. We had a huge, great time last night with Julia and Kayla and did yeah, the Strand cool. and did uh, Barnes and Noble and came back here to the hotel and hung out for we a large so part of the night. We were so outnumbered by the Canadians. Chelsea so and I, <laughs> so outnumbered by Canadians. Oh my God, I was swooning my life off because they were all speaking French to me. <gasps> we showed them, don't you put it in your mouth, and don't like, you put it in your mouth. Lest you ask someone you love. Oh my <laughs> god. You love. We're going to have to show everybody that video. Oh, I can insert a clip, that I'm sure. That video is certain, suddenly going to make a huge resurgence, <laughs> and everyone's going to have, like, the best PS. <laughs> link in the cards. Link, link in the cards. cards. Oh, I'll link it in the card. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Um, no joke. Hilarious. Best time ever. Um, but now we're going to go do the last day of con. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an effort. Um, I know that Julie really wants uh, the Wicked King, yeah. and she has some insider information on where to actually get that. I know that Kayla and Julia know where I could try and get one of his us, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try. Real good. Um, Hello! I did not charge my camera last night, so I don't have a camera to finish up my vlogging for BookCon, but we is here. We are waiting in line for a Plinko game to get an arc of who knows what, but we're hanging out uh, for a little bit longer before the Canadians have to leave us. I'm not okay with it. I don't like it, uh, but we have the cutest pictures coming up. I am very, very excited about them. I just had to drop off Chelsea at the airport. She just went in and I'm feeling a little bit sad because today was not the day I wanted it to be. My foot was hurting so bad. So we really had a low key, really chill day. I would have loved to show her more of the city and do more, but it just wasn't gonna happen. Bum, she's gone, Natasha's gone. Everybody's back home. So I'm gonna go sit in traffic, go home and uh, start uploading footage and hopefully put together a vlog. Hi guys. So this is 
is going to be the haul portion of my vlog as well as just my wrap up for the entirety of the vlog. No, I have no makeup on. I'm in bed. I put a call in to my doctor yesterday after I dropped Chelsea off at the airport on Monday night and uh, they told me that because of its location, A, they were pissed that I had like drained it over the weekend. It was the only way that I could kind of walk on it is if I drained it and then like relieve the pressure and they were mad that I did that because I couldn't invite infection and bacteria into the wound so they said don't do that anymore um and they also said stay off of it they were not happy i spent two days on it what i figured i was going to do is just let you guys know my end thoughts and then do a little bit of a haul it was the most amazing weekend i had so much fun meeting chelsea and natasha julia and kayla and seeing amber again and her brother chase was there meeting uh caitlin from our chat room for marla live drunk shows who suggested places to go friday night and we had a great time friday night i met ellie i met heather i met Emily, I met Madeline, Becky, Momo was there hanging out. I'm really, really glad that I got to meet other people in the community, book bloggers and Goodreads reviewers, and it was just really, really amazing and a great opportunity for me. That's kind of what I'm taking away from the weekend. I'm taking away the opportunity to meet people in real life and to talk about books that I love. I'm not taking away a place where I went to go get a ton of free arcs, even necessarily meet authors. I did meet some, I did talk to a few, definitely saw a lot of like authors in the wild, which was really, really cool. Between last year and this year, a ton changed. There used to be like stacks of arcs, you could just go take one. This was a lot more um, selly. There was a lot more booths where you could go buy discounted books. I did not come away with either of the books that I really wanted to go there and get. But again, what are you gonna do? Would I go there again for the networking and seeing people? Of course. Would I go there again with any expectation of walking away with books? absolutely not. It was literally just booths and booths of people. It felt like a flea market kind of a thing. It was a little bit difficult to navigate, but it wasn't the worst. There was plenty of people there to help you, meeting people, seeing people, being able to spend time with people. It was fantastic, and that's what I really wanted the weekend to be. So that's kind of what my feedback is on the whole experience. Authors that I saw, I saw Marie Lou, I saw Holly Black, I saw Tahara Mafi and Ransom Riggs, I saw uh, Stephanie Garber, I met Mark Orisha. I feel like they were just all kind of like walking around, hanging out, chilling, which was really cool. Like you'd see them just kind of walking through the cafeteria or oh, Jenny Han and like walking around with, with readers. It was really nice to be able to do stuff like that and just be in an environment where everybody felt comfortable, respectful of one another. Like I ran into some booktubers that have much larger channels than me and they were walking up and saying that they knew of like XYZ videos that I did. It made me feel really connected to the community. All in all, a fantastic weekend. Like so, so great. I love it. I miss Natasha and Jeff and Chelsea so much. I miss that. Like I, I wish that there were other booktubers in my area that I could hang with a little bit more often. And I kind of explained it to Natasha and Chelsea as before you have sex, like you have like a vague idea of what you're missing, but you don't really know until you have it. And then when you go without it, you're like, oh man, but it's so good. I want to have it again. I want to have it again. Like I knew I was going to love Chelsea and Natasha, but to actually be together with them and spend time with them and be able to like just laugh and have like crazy moments with them. Now I understand what I'm truly missing on a day-to-day -day basis, not having them like here with me. It sucks a little bit more now being away from them. Okay, so I'm gonna just turn this camera around and do like a haul like I would on Insta Stories. Also, I really wanted to hold this haul off until I got a book. Crystal is an absolute baby angel and she was at BookCon. I didn't actually get to meet her because our schedules didn't met, meet up on Sunday and she was like hella going to signings and panels and making the most of her day because she only had the one day at BookCon and I 100% like respect that. She's actually really close in uh, New Jersey, I believe. So I'm sure we'll meet up another time, but we left, she left Khan and she said that she had an extra City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab that was signed and she asked if I would be interested in it because her boyfriend went with her and they both got one. And she was like, I only need the one. Do you want me to send you one? And I was like, I really, really do. So she's so, so sweet. And she mailed it out to me yesterday. And I really want to get this vlog up today, which is Tuesday. So Crystal, thank you so, 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 so much for sending me the book. I will haul it on Insta stories and I'll also put it in a book haul. I appreciate you so much. I'll have her link down below. First, I'm going to show you the book that I got at that like book barn that I showed you like super early in the vlog. We're going to get into that one first and then we'll go into everything I got from BookCon. All right, let's do this. I got The Royal We, which is by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. Chelsea talks about this one all the time and she really, really, really likes it. They didn't have a ton of like current releases at that book place. As you can see from the footage, it was a lot of vintage stuff. Like if you're looking for vintage books or like classics, that's the place to go. But I figured I would pick this one up, but let's get into book con. 
because I know that's what you wanted to see. Goodreads tote that was super cute. They gave this to us at the Goodreads event on Friday night, uh, which was so much fun. I met so many really cool people there. KM Jackson's The Bedding Veil. Chelsea actually got in line for these because they were giving them out for free and then personalizing personalizing them. So I believe this is personalized to Chelsea, but she didn't want all of them. So she gave me two of them and I figured I would take them and uh, check them out because Dem's smutty. And you guys know I kind of like the smuts. So they're personalized to Chelsea, but these authors were all there and signing them and they were free. So Chelsea grabbed them and then let us take what we wanted. My ticket to MoMA. Isn't that the cutest? This was the Museum of Modern Art and we went there on um, Friday. It was really cool. You guys saw a little bit of footage from that. Ampersand is a new company that is like a reading app and they asked me to be one of their booktube influencers so when I stopped by their booth they had a gift for me so this is like this awesome swell bottle it's like it's thick like it's big the darkest mind uh this was from goodreads like dark chocolate natasha's business cards they're so cute are they not so cute and then these are i think all just probably other business cards this was my pass for saturday they were all cassandra claired then we had some comic books and these are all things that they gave out early i think one of them is an arc um so this is Spectacle, which looks like it has to be Night Circus related. Like, look at this. Like, totally circus themed. Anyway, I'm going to check that one out. A Oni Press starter pack. Maybe a whole bunch of different graphic novels. This one, or I'm really, really excited about. This is an advanced reader copy of Open Earth, which is a polyamorous space opera. Apparently has um, all the smexy time. Mm, certainly looks like the Smexies. Stoked to get to that. Probably gonna read this one today. Uh, so that was everything from bag one. Ampersand bag. This is the one that everybody got when you went to BookCon. This is the best part of the haul. This is my Canadian maple syrup that Jeff and Natasha brought for me and I really really appreciate it because I can't wait to make some pancakes with that. We got a whole lesson on how to best read that or eat that. I got Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. This was a part of the thing that we were I had said we got like a ticket to go potentially play like Plinko and get an arc. I got an arc of I don't know it was like flames on the cover but I really really wanted this or What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and Becky Albertalli which like very few people got. Claire Legrand you guys know writes wrote Fury Born which I loved. I traded my arc for this arc because somebody that got this one really wanted the one that I got so um there was a lot of that going on after the fact of the, like the little Plinko game. There's a lot of trading arcs. So I'm going to buddy read this one on the 9th, I believe. The only arc that I got that I was really, really excited about and I didn't even like technically win it. I traded for it. A sampler of Snot Girl, which I have not read yet. Um, but fun fact, the um, author illustrators of Snot Girl were there day one. This was an arc that was handed out. It's the Reckless Club. It is a middle grade, like eighth grade kind of a thing where like these kids get in trouble and the principal says that they can like give up their last day of summer vacation to come and do some kind of community service, I guess, and uh, get out of trouble. So this one I will probably give to my 12 year old nieces and see if they're interested in it. There's not very much in this one. I'm so afraid I'm gonna get stabbed by a pin. Water Snakes is a graphic novel that we were checking out. Booktube made me do it. And this is by Hey Olivia Reads. I was so excited to meet her. She hung out with me for a little bit and I talked to the barbarian, Allie and Olivia. Self-promotion, always encouraged. Uh, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's Dear Ijiwali or Feminist Manifesto and 15 Suggestions. This one they were giving out for free on Sunday at the end. Um, pretty, pretty stoked to have that one. This is Sheets. This was a graphic novel. It's signed. This little card is signed by the author illustrator and I believe it comes with a code for a free download. And then the last thing in here is, oh, my Sunday book con ticket. And then Mark Oshiro's Anger is a Gift, which Natasha is making her book that she's going to stand by. She loves it so, so much. So Chelsea bought it and had this whole interaction with Mark that was absolutely joyfully beautiful. So you have to check out Chelsea's vlog to um, see that interaction, but it was absolutely amazing. I went back on Sunday and picked this one up 
and it is signed but not personalized. I'm really excited to have this one and to uh, give it a read. So that was all the books. Could I have gotten more if I walked around and really, really like scavenged for them? I'm sure I probably could have. Honestly, there was not a ton of opportunities for it. That's the haul. Like it's more swaggy stuff than it is actual books, but these two I am like ridiculously excited for. It's kind of like my takeaways from BookCon are these two books. I'm just going to end this here, uh, go upload all this footage and edit it and hopefully get this vlog up for you ASAP because I want to share all the fun that I had with you guys. So thank you for coming along with me. Thank you to everybody who kind of put up with my Instagram stories and just like the love fest that came afterwards because I'm just so happy I met everybody. That's it for BookCon 2018. And if you're coming to me and this is your first video and you only found it through the BookCon like tag on my videos, welcome. I hope you'll stick around. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.